you have received Tylenol and Codeine, 259 tablets. You have received Tramadol, 1,045 tablets. Hydrocodone, 970 tablets. All right, guys, welcome to Amigos React. Today, we're going to do part two of Stephen Asante on uh, my 600 pound life and normally i am a lot more empathetic for these people but this guy was the biggest asshole you've ever seen the most selfish person that has ever graced this show with his presence yeah you yeah, know but... usually these people are just like miserable with their lives and they take it out on everybody this is really gross like this yeah. room there's oh pee God. containers like that so, is so sick so give a little context if you didn't watch part one you can go watch it but he was in the hospital. So he was in Rhode Island hospital and he got kicked out because he was sneaking in pizza. And by sneaking in, I mean, his family had to do it because there's no way he's sneaking anywhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he has it like under he's his like, folds. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hey, where'd you go? You. Bathroom. Why are you breathing so heavy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you on a golf cart? It was a massive dump, dude. <laughs> and uh, so then he goes to Dr. Now's hospital in Texas. They put him on the controlled diet, everything. And he's just treating the nursing staff like shit, dude. Uh, and so Dr. Yeah, now yeah. is like, you got to ship up or shape out or opposite, you know, shape up or ship yeah, out. Yeah. And uh, literally like while Dr. Now's doing the interview right after he tells him the call lights going off and he's calling nurses again, dude. Yeah. Oh my God. So Dr. Now's like, you're going. And then he starts crying. He's like, I have nowhere to go. And Dr. Now's like, dude, you're a 33 year old man. Why are you crying at me right now? You're out oh of here. Oh my God. So then he goes to this apartment. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Jeez. This little shithole. And it looks like that already. Yeah. It's probably been like one day. <laughs> yeah, it's been one week and it looks like that. Dude, how are you? How are you living in an Tubs apartment? Of ice cream. And you're peeing your in little cups instead of like walking when you can obviously get to the fridge because you got the ice cream. That's so nuts. You pee. That's so disgusting, it's bro. Lazy, dude. That's nasty. No like, wonder I've, you got that big. I've heard of people like peeing in containers, but every time, my, well, like somebody that I meet that have, has done that has a valid reason. Yeah. Like they're either working from home and they're taking calls and they're like, dude, I'm in the middle of this call and I really got to pee and I have a seven liter or, you know, two yeah. liter of seven up that's empty right here. Oh, well, like I'm yeah. just going to pee and I'll throw it away in a minute. But yeah, throw it away in a freaking minute, bro. Not three Don't, weeks. That, yeah, that's so gross, man. it's so brown. It's like it's you have... It's so dark. There's no excuse to do that. I'm 700 pounds, Nick. That's not an excuse. You can walk to the bathroom. All right, guys. It's Obviously, crazy. he's not working anywhere. Please hit the subscribe button, like button, notification oh. bell. And remember, one of our first 50,000 subscribers will win $500. And I know what you're thinking. You only have like almost 700 subscribers. How are you going to get to 50,000? We're going to pay you to it. You better start subscribing because yeah. you might get some cashole, brethren. And also, our plan is to like just make good content, basically. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to, you know, entertain you guys. And be jacked and like not even flex at all. Yeah. And then you guys are going to click on the channel and you'll be like, damn, this guy's jacked. We should probably see what he has to say. Yeah, and that other guy's pretty skinny, but uh, <laughs> he wears He's, long sleeves and makes him look bigger. <laughs> he might say things, too. Yeah, he also says things. It's been a month since I left the hospital. A month. And now, I'm supposed to see Dr. Nazarden for my checkup. I was supposed to lose... <laughs> he puts Yo. cologne on, dude. Whoa. Like it's gonna help. Dude, look at yeah, your... Yeah, he's got like elephant legs. El is it elephantitis? It's called lymphedema. Okay. So like your lymph nodes, you know, like when you get sick and you're swollen, mm -hmm. you have those all over your body. Yeah. And something about when you get obese like this, it causes lymphedema and they like fill with liquid and then they turn oh, into like dude. this. Those are like, okay. So remember when mine got swollen? Yeah. Those are, so they're like the, they, the, the, the doctor described them as they're like the security stops in your mm -hmm. body because they stop like diseases in your lymph nodes. And they'll kill as much as they can. Yeah. Some will get passed through, but that's like their little security spots like in your with, body. Is it like a bunch of white blood cells? or how? Yeah, yeah, I think it's like a collection of white blood cells yeah. and something else. That makes sense. And this guy's got a lot of disease to stop, and they just couldn't handle it. He's got diabetes to stop or something. Diabetes. Yeah, anytime you see a fat person with legs like that, it's lymphedema. Like, legs aren't shaped like that, you know? Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> like, he doesn't even have a right foot. No. He's got oh, like an extra toe. Dude, that is terrifying 
Why would At you least 40 win? pounds. Can't even wear a shirt. Get on the 670. Hi. And I'm not sure if I did that. But I do feel like I made some progress. He's supposed to be at 670 right now. <laughs> and judging by the two liters of soda and ice cream, I'm going to guess he's not there. Dude, I, I bet he's over. Oh, I yeah. he's higher. So when he was in the hospital, he lost 100 pounds. So I think he got down to like... Because they probably made him walk around. No, they put him on a controlled diet. It's like a thousand oh, calories a day. Or That's something. literally, bro. You will lose so much weight instantly. Instantly, like not. You can lay in bed, yeah, and you will lose so much weight just because you're not eating the garbage, mountains of garbage that you're shoving in your face all the time. Yeah, your body does not want to be anywhere near this big. Like oh, as God. soon as you lower the calories, it falls off. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Yes. I told you. Another gained one. 21 pounds. That's really not God, good. Dude. You gained I've 21 gained pounds in a month. Weight back again. And I really don't know how that happened. I really I don't know how that happened. Literally was sitting really? in the middle of like a grocery store of like empty containers. And piss containers. Like yeah. you haven't moved from that spot in a <laughs> month, dude. dude. And he can walk. He walked into the office. You can't walk to go That's pee. That's what I'm saying, dude. Literally walk around your house, you'll start losing weight. Your apartment is like 500 square feet and you can't make it to the toilet. This is one of the first like overweight on this show that I've seen that can walk. Like mm -hmm. he really doesn't have an excuse to not exercise. Like walking yeah. is probably a great exercise for you. Dude, right if now. we leaned him out, you know how jacked his quads would probably be? Oh, God. They'd be shredded. Do you think they'd still be, like, scaly like they look? I mean, there'd probably be way too much extra skin. But Yeah. Yeah, get just some surgery. If he be pulled fine. it back, he would be winning Mr. Olympia Dude, he from could the just, legs. You know, get some skin. Like, if he got serious and got, like, jacked. This guy don't get serious about nothing. I know. But if he did. Yeah. And he got jacked, it wouldn't be that much. Like, if he got massive, massive, like, yeah. started roided up and got massive, like, fucking got to mm -hmm. Chris Bumstead's status, it wouldn't be that much skin he would have to remove. It would be a lot, because even Chris Bumstead weighs 500 pounds less than him. That is true. 500. Is true. But it would all be, like, around his waist, That's I like feel like. That's, like, five people. The loosest skin, because his shoulders and his arms probably wouldn't be so bad, but mm -hmm. his, like, belly yeah, would be not horrible. as bad, but yeah. Be like a five, tongue. That's like five people living in your skin. God. And Chris Bumps does. That's insane. <laughs> what are you, a kangaroo, dude? I think Dr. Nazarda would be angrier if I left, <laughs> and I would. Because I don't want to face him right now. Hello. Hi. How are you doing, sir? Well, first let me say, because <laughs> I know you're going to bring it up. I gained 21 pounds because I slipped up a couple times. A couple but, um, times. Oh, just a, yeah, probably like two Reese's peanut butter cups, you think? Dude, not even like, oh God, 21 pounds is a lot of weight to I gain. feel like most people. Especially in a month. I feel like most people eat about 30 pounds of food in total for a month. Dude, <laughs> that's, so, <laughs> that's so much weight. How did you gain 20, like 21 pounds in one yeah. month? Dude. And think about, okay, you're already at like. 730 pounds right yeah so the you have to eat in excess of 5,000 calories for one pound about 5,000 calories so you have to maintain 730 pounds plus eat an extra 5,000 calories dude to get an extra one pound and he did that 21 times god that like makes me nauseous within just 30 days about. yeah it's fucking disgusting it's nuts how do you do that Magic. On track now. Dude. However, oh, wait, wait a minute. How many times you've been back on track? No, I really. And yeah. how, how many times? Well, let me. He said I'm doing you... better because he literally is drinking a water right now. He's like, it's Fiji. So, you know, obviously, I'm trying. He's like, shit, I'll take it to Sonic. Look, Doctor, right now, now zero get... water. <laughs> I've been, that's all I've been drinking, really. Dude. Yeah, besides the seven up and pounds of ice cream. Yeah. That's what it really is. He's probably eating buckets of ice cream yeah, and because McDonald's, you know, like at, Yeah, just that, high fat oh. foods. That's the only way you can get in that many calories is high fat, high carb. Oh, absolutely. Oh my god, dude. That's so disgusting. Some statistic, okay? We came to Houston ten months ago and you were seven hundred and thirty pounds. We help you to lose hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. Then you gain it all back and more. So we got you back to 729. Now you gained 20 pounds in one month when you were supposed to lose 40 pounds. 
So you make no progress, and when we do help you, you immediately undo it. Mm -hmm. What did I tell you? Absolute failure. Mm -hmm. Absolute failure. Well, I can explain. Next time, it's going to be 800 pounds? Absolutely. This dude can explain anything. And that's that, not explaining. And you know what? His dad should have told him this a long time ago. Absolute failure. Dude, I wait, you, you know what they really should do for this show is like these guys come in and cuz they come in voluntarily, yeah. right? Or sometimes it's the family's like, "Hey, it's yeah. a health hazard. He really needs to do something." They need to hire him like a fitness coach. Yeah, a fitness coach that lives with them. A nutrition coach that ch- yeah, at least checks on them every day. Every day. Every single day comes to their house and says, "Hey, just, you're, you know, get up, you're walking to the bathroom or whatever it is. And they need a flip phone so they can't order Uber Eats. Yep. And yeah. they get their groceries brought in by the nutritionist. And it's like the biggest loser plus surgery. Yeah. You're, you're going to get ice cream maybe, maybe once in that month, dude. Not even. But probably not because you're going to be on a really strict diet it's for It's just going to trigger your brain to want more sugar. So yeah. like. Dude, the thing about this stuff is like it's so childish. It's like if oh, a yeah. child he's like a child had a bunch of money and was in charge of himself. He's like a giant child, and I don't even know where he's getting the money for this shit, dude. Eating competitions, probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably, that's the only way. <laughs> it's the only exercise he gets. Next is going time to it's going to be under probably six hundred or under six hundred. Oh, and that's never gonna happen. You, know, you don't believe it yourself Bro, either. I do want to commit to working out now, but I'm having a hard time because I obviously don't have any more medication anymore, and I just need um, like, you know, a refill to help me out, like with working out. You actually asking what? me for pain medication? Yeah, I want to work out two times a day. All right. I really do. Yeah, this dude is a class A oh, opiate God. drug addict. And he, like, all he cares about this whole time is getting pain medication. And listen to this. He's about to give the statistics on what he's had since he got to Texas. Oh, jeez. That's I really do. In I want past to month. commit to this, though. Okay. Uh, I know you don't believe In past me. month, how many times you went to emergency room? I have been to the emergency room. Hmm. Maybe uh, five times. Five times in a month. So you go to one hospital, they recognize that you're a drug addict, they go to another one. Let me just give you something. This is a prescription monitoring program with the state of Texas. You receive 39 prescriptions from 17 different doctors. Mm-hmm. Is that a ring a bell? Well, it, obviously I can see it on the paper. It can't be a lie. Then you go to the next page. You have received Tylenol and Codeine, 259 tablet. You have received Tramadol, 1,045 tablet. Hydrocodone, 970 tablet in the state of Texas. If you have prescription from any other doctor than one doctor, we are not allowed to prescribe a pain medication. Mm-hmm. So this is the end of it. You have exhausted lifetime hospital privileges to be admitted. So your day- Damn dude, so that was crazy. 200 some Tylenol with codeine, 1000 Tramadol and 900 Vicodin tablets. And like, I don't even know how many months he's been here. It's like three months or something. Dude, and he said he went to the ER five times. In one month. And that was probably, it was probably more than that. Because you know he wants to minimize it. Dude, if you need to get addicted to something, try meth. It'll freaking make you skinny. That would help, bro. (laughs) Or or cocaine or something. I know, it's crazy. Why are you on downers? You need to be on uppers. (laughs) But I bet you... When he came into this visit, the only thing going through his mind, because like as an opiate addict, like you're just so scared to go into withdrawals. Mm-hmm. He's like, "How am I gonna get a doctor now to give me another prescription?" Oh, and yeah. you saw when look he, at his face right now. Yeah. He's like, "Dang, dude, I'm gonna have to go through withdrawals." Yeah, and you saw when um, when he was telling doctor now, "Yeah, I'm getting serious about it." His lips were like quivering. Yeah, because he was scared. He's like, "Oh, he's not gonna give it to me." Shit, dude, like. That's the hard part about, especially when you're addicted to like opiates or like the withdrawals. Yeah, it's the withdrawals are scary, and that's like that's where you get into the 
that spiral of, you know, mm-hmm. constantly doing it. Some people just do it just because they don't want the withdrawals. They right. don't even care about the high anymore. Yeah. Once you get to a certain point, you're just like, I don't want to be sick. Yeah. And it's just this terrible. Because it is like opiates, it's the worst withdrawals you can have. Yeah. The abusing system are over. Okay. Thank you. Have All a right. nice day. I want to leave. You got that? Yes, I'm done. Okay. Thanks. This information is going to data bank. Okay. And once I put this in the database, the next time you do this, you'll be arrested. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. All right, guys. What do you think of this video? Should we watch more 600 pound life? Uh, this is the best episode, like entertaining wise. And like, yeah, I remember watching this when I watched all the seasons and I've been looking for this video forever, but I couldn't find him because it's not under his name or anything. Yeah. And I just happened to stumble across it the other day. So I sent it to myself so we could watch nice. it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe button, like button, notification bell and uh, share with one of your friends, maybe and watch another one of our videos. And we'll see you in the next one. (laughs) Adios, amigos. Finger gun. (laughs) Dude, you got to watch this video. (laughs)